the woodland. Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. What are you uh, laboring at so hard, Bill? Is some job for us? You might call it that, Stumpy. Oh, I was just beginning to get used to the idea of relaxing. Oh, I've been quiet around here for a long time. That's why I'm working out this schedule, fellas. We've been very fortunate around here for a while. So I fit upon this schedule of cleanup work. Clean up? Oh, no. no. Work for each of us to do. Well, it's no use, I guess. When Bill feels like Chief Ranger, there's no stopping him. That's right, Grey Wolf. Okay, what have you got for us to do? Well, Henry, your job is right here in the station. That uh, back room is pretty cluttered again. Well, seems like I'm always cleaning it. That's right, young feller. But you see, we're always uh, cluttering it up. And, uh, Stumpy? Don't say a word, Bill. I know my job already. <laughs> that right? Yep. I'm supposed to kind of move around among you working fellers with my harmonica and keep morale up, right? Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> I tried. You sure did, old-timer. <laughs> I want you and Grey Wolf to make a check of all the towers in our district uh, for needs such as paint, maintenance, and the like. All the towers? That's right. Oh, uh, excuse me, fellas. Well, look who's here. Hello, strangers. Oh, hi, hi Keith. Howdy, How Keith. Hi. What brings an old bear like you out so early in the year, Keith? Oh, uh, one guess. Are you going to climb a mountain? Oh, the whole family is, Henry. That's why I stopped. I'm wondering about weather conditions and forecast and any other information you could give me about Mount Evergreen. The whole family, huh? Going to make champion mountain climbers out of all of them, huh? <laughs> I'm going to try. Billy's already been climbing with us, but this will be Tim's first go. Little Timmy? Are you going to take him along? Well, he's eight years old. Already? Hey, I must be getting old. <laughs> no kidding. Well, I can remember when you used to carry him in here. So? I can remember when you used to be carried around. Oh, 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 right. Well, <laughs> this is different. Well, anyhow, you're all going up on Mount Evergreen. That's right. If you don't have any objection. Go right ahead. I mean, is the weather and other conditions okay? As far as we know, the rains didn't do any damage that we've heard about. So have a good time. Oh, good. We've been looking forward to this all winter. Tim's pretty excited about his first climb. It's a good thing his father's a champion mountain climber. Oh, was, Henry. I haven't climbed in competition for a long time. <laughs> now, what tickled you, old-timer? I was just sitting here thinking about the two mountain climbers who were climbing way oh, up there. Oh, here the... come one of old-timer's jokes oh. again. Go ahead, Stumpy. I haven't heard one of your stories for a while. Uh, the two climbers were climbing. Yep, and... that's right. And one looks at the other and shouts, uh, Look out for that cliff! And, and the, the other, other says, says what, what a cliff! cliff! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope you have a nice time, Keith. Oh, come on, Stumpy. Don't be mad about it. We all knew it, that's all. But I'm not mad. <laughs> Maybe uh, I have time for one more, Stumpy. Uh, how about it, huh? Well, uh, there is a sort of sequel to that last one, unless you all know it already. Oh, I not know any more to that joke. No more than what we just said. Looks like the floor is yours, Stumpy. Oh, well, there's the family. I guess they're anxious to get moving. How about a rain check on the rest of that joke, Stumpy? You can tell it next time we see each other. Huh? Okay! Uh, Bill, uh, why don't you come to the door? I'm sure the kids would like to shout hi to you. Oh, sure thing, Keith. Hey, kids! Here's Ranger Bill to say hi. Hi, Ranger Bill. Hi, hi. Billy. Timmy. I'm Tim. Oh, 
I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, Billy. And Tim. Hello, Alice. Hello, Bill. That's quite a growing family you have there. I can hardly keep up with them. This is Timmy's, uh, I mean, Tim's first climb with us. I know. Well, have a good time. So long, Bill. Bye, Ranger Bill. Bye, Ranger Bill. Bye. Bill. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Boy, I can't get over how those boys have grown. Still, Tim's pretty young to be climbing around on a mountain. Well, don't forget that Keith is a champ at that kind of thing. They'll be safe enough. I guess. I just don't think I'd like to do it if, if I were in his shoes. Keith, you know, I think this is one of the most beautiful spots we've ever camped at. Mm, I know. I knew you'd like Mount Evergreen. Once you get up through that heavy forest area below and... Up here with the trees thin out a bit. Mm, I think it's just perfect. <laughs> Look at our smallest mountain climber, sound asleep. <laughs> it was a hard climb for him, mm. especially since he's not used to it. Did you happen to notice where Billy went? Oh, he was around here a minute ago. I'm sure he can't be far away. He knows better than to wander too far in this kind of a place. Mm, sure. Later, I want to show you probably one of the most beautiful sights in this whole section of the United States. Oh, Really? Well, I mean, one of the most beautiful sights that doesn't have a souvenir stand and some coin-operated telescopes connected with it. <laughs> oh, such talk, Keith. What place is this that's so beautiful? Mom! Dad! Oh, there you are. There's the most terrific thing a little ways from here. Oh? Yeah, just a little ways up there, there's a kind of fork in the trail. And each path leads to a separate ledge. Well, that's and... the path I was just about to tell you about, Alice. Boy, it's great, Mom. I went out on one of those ledges and could I ever... Ah, uh, safe, Mom. At least the one I went out on is. I'm not so sure about the others, so I didn't go there. Anyhow, I went out on one, and you can see straight across to the other with this big open space in between. It really is beautiful, Alice. <laughs> well, Keith, I don't know which one of you was more excited about this, but I'm not going to get up now to see it. At least not right away. Ah, uh, Mom... There's plenty of time, Billy. Besides, I wouldn't leave Tim asleep here. It sure is neat. <laughs> I'll see it before too long. Now, why don't you and your dad go and enjoy it? I'll be along later, just as soon as Timmy wakes up. Hey, good idea. Come on, Dad. Okay. We'll be back later, Alice. Keep the home fires burning. Have a good time, you two. Boy, Tim sure got tired in a hurry, didn't he? Mm. Aren't you a bit tired yourself? Who, me? Not at all. Well, remember that you're almost four years older than your brother. Oh, well, after a nap, he'll be running around again as good as new. Mm, he'll probably have more energy than any of us. Hey, here's the fork in the trail. Up that way, it gets awful narrow, so I didn't go very far on it. This way, it's plenty wide enough for both of us. Well, I haven't been up here in a good many years. There's been a little erosion since I was here. Dad? Mm, yes, son. This is a neat sight and, and all that. But how did it happen? How could there be this, this split right in the middle of the mountain? Let's get up on the ledge and I'll show you. Okay. We're almost there. Oh, watch your step. This doesn't look very firm along here. You should see the other path. You just start to step on it and it crumbles. Oh, I'm glad you had the good sense to stay off of it. Here we are. Boy, look at it. Beautiful, isn't it? Sure is. It's like looking at a whole other mountain. You see, Billy, at one time this was all together. This was probably a clearing or something. But a shift must have happened in the Earth's surface to cause this mountain to split right here and divide this clearing into two cliffs. How far do you think it is across the split to another cliff? Oh, I'd say about 30 feet, more or less. How, how deep is it down there between the cliffs? Well, that's hard to say. You can't see the bottom because it's in the shadows, but it may go as far as, oh, a couple hundred feet. I was kind of afraid to look into it. Sometimes fear is a good thing. There's no telling how strong the edge is. If someone were to go to the edge and look down... That you know. edge might give way and they'd go down, huh? Mm, right. 
It's a good thing you didn't do that. They like having you around. And I like being around. <laughs> Tim! Timmy! Shh, listen. Timmy! Where are you? Alice! Alice, this way! Oh, Keith, is Timmy with you? No, I thought he was with you asleep. He was. He was, but... Oh, no, take it easy, honey. Try to tell us what happened. <laughs> well... After you left, I began unpacking some things. And, mm -hmm. and when I turned around, I, I noticed that... And that what? Oh, Keith, Timmy wasn't there. Oh, well, easy, easy, dear. We'll find him. You sure he didn't start back down the way we came from? He couldn't have without my seeing him. This is the only way he could have possibly come. Well, he didn't come here. Hey, look! What? Where? Oh, over there on the other cliff. It's Tim. He's crying. <laughs> It's no use, Alice. I can't get over there to him. That other path is just too weak to support my weight. It's a miracle that he made it. Oh, Keith, what are we going to do? I don't know yet. Maybe I could get to him, Dad. I I'm not as heavy as you are. Well, that's not the whole problem, Billy. What would you do after you got to him? You'd have to carry him back. You can hardly lift him, let alone make it back along that shaky path carrying him. Oh, why doesn't he just come back himself? Well, we've already tried to get him to do that, but he's too frightened. How can he be scared? Dad's never scared of mountain climbing. <laughs> That's not entirely true, son. Well, you climbed anyhow. Why doesn't he just forget that he's scared and come back? Probably for the same reason that you wouldn't go to the edge and look over. Well, I thought it'd fall in and me with it. Exactly. I just don't know what to do. I could get over there to him myself if I had a rope long enough, but I'd be in the same fix Billy would be in. I couldn't get us both back. Oh, Keith, if we only had some help. I don't know what good more people would be. I can't figure a thing out. We're here. There's a good 30 feet of crevice between here and the other cliff. And Tim's on that other cliff. Oh. If we could only get Bill and, and the rangers up here, they might have some ideas. Well, maybe so, but how? We're a good day's hike from our car. No telling what would happen to Tim while we're trying to get them. I've got an idea. Well, go ahead, Billy. We could use one about now. We could signal the ranger tower down in the valley without going down. Hey, that really is a good idea. Billy, you're wonderful. We can light a smoke fire and that'll get their attention. Yeah, but but maybe in the wrong way, Mom. What do you mean, son? Well, they know we're up here. They might just think we found some wet wood or something. We've got to let them know we're in trouble. Well, that's a good point. Any ideas? Uh-huh. Well, go ahead. You've hit the jackpot so far. Well, how about using the mirror Mom has in her purse and flashing an SOS at them with the sunlight? Yes. How did you ever think of that? Henry showed us that trick in one of our club meetings. I thought it was pretty neat, so I remembered it. Well, let's get to it. So far, little Tim is too scared to move. But if he decides to try something, it may be fatal. Hang on, Tim. We'll get you off of there. I hope. Oh, God, I hope. I think they're getting it, Dad? I hope so, Billy. I hope so. How long have you been flashing at them with that mirror? On and off for almost two and a half hours. They're bound to have seen it by now. Why don't you stop, then? Well, you, you just never know. I guess little Tim is still okay. Your mother hasn't called us from up there. I sure wish we could have stayed up there to watch him just in case. Don't underestimate your mother, Billy. She's perfectly capable of taking care of most any situation. Yeah, I guess so. But she's a woman and... Oh, no. Dad, you dropped the mirror. Never mind that. I've got to find out what's wrong up there. There. Look. Right there. Above Timmy. Oh, no. A snake. It's a long snake. Run, Tim. Oh, run. He can't. he can't run. There's nowhere to run. But, but, Dad, it's, it's a movie near him. Oh, Keith, this is terrible. What can we do? Oh, God, you're helpless. Oh, God, have mercy. What happened? The, 
the snake jumped and fell. It isn't moving. It looks dead, Dad. I don't understand it. That sounded like a shot. That's exactly what it is, Keith. Old Betsy here never misses the mark. Stonefade. Gray Wolf. Oh, thank God. Here now, no blubbering. The old snake has seen his last day. Look like we just in time. You sure are. That snake almost got Timmy. Hey, what's he doing over there anyhow? Why ain't he here with you folks? That's why we signaled you. Timmy's trapped over there. How'd you get here so soon? Well, Gray Wolf and I were making an inspection of ranger stations and just happened to be at that there station when you flashed us. How'd he get there anyhow? He took the wrong path. And it's too small and crumbly for anybody to go after him. <laughs> that does make a problem, don't it? Maybe Bill have idea. Is he coming? We report your signal to him by phone. You see, you get mountain climbing equipment and rope and come out on double. So when we heard that an old champ like yourself was signaling for help, Keith, uh, we knew it must be something really rough. Well, I guess you can figure that you were right. Oh, I'll say... Bill, what can we do? Even if we could get to him, there isn't any way to get him back over here. And there isn't any other way to get to that ledge than that flimsy path, huh? None at all, Bill. I've checked it from every angle. The only way there is by the same path that Tim took. And that isn't strong enough to carry the weight of any of us. Except me. And I'm too small to be of much help. Oh, don't let that get you down, young feller. You're well on your way to being grown up. If we can get a rope across the open space and work some sort Bill? of... Uh, yeah, pal? I'm not nearly as heavy as most of you. Maybe I could get to Tim. I don't know, Henry. What would you do once you got there? Well, I don't know that, but it's a sure thing I'd be more help over on that side. Besides, I think Timmy had better have some company soon. He looks awfully scared over there. I think seeing all of us here has helped him a little bit. <laughs> You try to hold on, Alice. We'll think of something. How about it, Bill? Can I give it a try? Uh, Keith, what do you think? Uh, would the ledge hold, Henry? Uh, it's hard to tell, Bill. I wouldn't want to say no and keep Tim alone over there, but I wouldn't want to say yes and have Henry, well, you know, fall. I'd like to give it a try. Well, pal, you know the setup. I think it's good of you to want to do this. Uh, don't worry. Stumpy's not the only mountain goat around here. Why, you young whippersnapper! You'd better not slip before I have a chance to pin your ears back. Watch Henry go along small path. He being very careful. Looks like he learned that Indian sneak you were teaching him real well, Gray Wolf. Oh, he very sure footed all right. He's keeping mainly to the uphill side of the path. That's good. Boy, Henry's as brave as all the rest of the rangers, isn't he? Oh, dear. Teddy, Henry... Steady. Whoop. Ooh. Yeah, that was close. Could he grab a hold of tree root? He's, he's almost there. He's almost there. Boy, am I glad I'm almost there. Be good to get my hard backward belongs. This is like crawling on eggshells. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was it. I don't know where this jagged rock came from, but I sure am glad my hands found it. Oh, 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 fine. Now what do I do? There's nowhere to put my feet. I'm just hanging hey, by this jagged rock. rock on the side of the crevice. You in bad fix, all right. You said a mouthful there, sonny. Oh, if anything happens to him, I... I'll never forgive myself. It's not your fault, Alice. Oh, yes, it is. I've been watching Timmy like I should have. <laughs> this would never have happened. Oh, that's foolish talk, Alice. Please try to be calm here. Oh, with Timmy alone on that ledge and, and Henry dangling from who knows what. Look. Henry's starting to swing himself back and forth. That's it, pal. He's trying to get enough swing to throw himself onto the ledge with Timmy. And only a few feet. If his hands not give out, he might make it. If only his hands not give out, he might make it. Only my hands... Oh, 
out. I think I can make it. This sure do hurt. This should be enough of a swing to make the jump now. There, I made it. Timmy, are you all right? Sure, Henry. I'm okay. I just don't know how to get down. Oh, don't worry about that. Bill will figure something out. Is everybody mad at me? Oh, no, Tim. Don't worry about that. We just want to see you safe and sound on the other side. Does, does Dad still like me? Why do you ask a thing like that? Because he's so good at mountain climbing and not scared of anything. And I got too scared to get back. Oh, hey, <laughs> take it easy, fella. It was probably a good thing you didn't try to get back. It was? Why, sure. You saw what happened when I tried to get here on the same path, didn't you? Yeah. Well, if you ask me, you had a real good reason to be scared. I was. You were? I sure was. Why, anybody would be at a time like that. But you came over anyhow. Sometimes being scared isn't half as important as doing the right thing. Sometimes, like for you today, being scared was the right thing. You're still alive. But I'm a chicken. Hey, what kind of talk is that? Being scared doesn't make a guy a chicken. Any more than doing a brave thing makes a guy a hero. What about you just now? Now, that's a good question for you. I guess you could say that, that I did a brave thing. But at the same time, I was scared. Now, what am I? A hero or a chicken? I don't know. You mix me all up. Here's the thing to remember, Tim. Everybody can do brave things. And everybody is scared many times in their lives. It's just the way life is. And if you get all worried because you're scared, you're missing the boat. Uh, just as much as if you get all puffed up because you do something brave. Do you understand that? Kind of. Good. Now, how about smiling so the others can see that you're all right? Okay. In a way. That's a way. Good idea. Timmy's waving. It looks like he's smiling. Hello, Timmy. Don't worry. He doesn't look worried. I don't know what Henry said to him, but it sure seems to have done the trick. Henry, good boy. He usually know right thing at right time. You said it, Grey Wolf. No, what about getting him off that ledge? You got an idea, Bill? Yes, I do. And with Henry over there, it'll be a lot easier. What is it, Bill? Yep, Sonny, what's that think tank of yours come up with? Just this. If we could stretch a rope across the gap between these two cliffs, we'd have an effective bridge. Well, I don't know about Henry, but Tim is no high wire walker. You let emotion run away with you, Keith. Bill mean hand over hand walking. Oh, of course, but wait a minute. I'm sure Henry could make it across that way, but... What about Tim? Maybe he could ride on Henry's back. Do you think he could hold him? I don't know. I'm not sure what shape Henry's hands are in after swinging from that rock. They look like they might be a little raw. Oh, if I could, I, I'd go after him myself. Well, Henry looks pretty well rested now. Let's get that rope across. Once it's secure, I'll go over there and get Tim. <laughs> Look like it hold. Good. Now I'll go hand over hand to that side, take a breath or two, and bring Tim back. Uh, Grey Wolf, try to keep the rope as taut as you can. It'll cut down the swing. Well, here it goes. Well, how are you two ledge mates doing over here, huh? Real well, Bill. We were just sort of passing the time of day till you came. Good, good. Are you ready to get off this place, Tim? I sure am. But how are we going to do it? How are your hands, pal? Well, oh, pretty good. I scraped them up a little when I swung from that rock, but otherwise okay. Think you can make it over the same way I came? Oh, sure. But what about Tim here? Since I get my wind... I'll put him on my back and follow you. That means you'll have to hold on like crazy, Tim. 
Think you can handle it? Tim, this is one of those times we were talking about, remember? You've got to do a hard, brave thing, even though you may be scared. Now, Bill will keep his part of the job as long as you keep yours. Okay, Ranger Bill. I can hang on. I'll try not to be scared as long as you're carrying me. That a boy, Tim. If you're okay, pal, let's get going. Right. It's a good thing Grey Wolf is steadying this rope. Remember what we talked about, Tim? And hang on to Bill. Okay, Henry. I'll try. There. Uh. He made it. Well, Tim, you all set? I'm trying not to be scared. Why well, try to be something you want? We all get scared at times. That doesn't mean we stop doing what needs to be done. That's kind of what Henry said. Do you get scared sometimes? Of course, Tim, we all do. So go ahead and be scared. But hang on to me for all you're worth. Tim, it's so good to have you back again. Yes, it certainly is, son. Are you mad at me for being scared? Henry told me that that was on your mind, Tim. He also told me what he told you about everybody being scared at one time or another. What he said is true. You were never scared. Oh, oh yes, I have been on many occasions. You? And Henry? And Bill? And Grey Wolf and Stumpy. The whole bunch of us. It ain't so important whether you're scared or not. What counts is what you do in spite of it. See, Tim? It take only one look straight down to see that you have good reason to fear. We all feel the same way. I think Tim gets the point all right. Especially considering he held on so bravely on the way over with Bill. Say, Stumpy, weren't you going to finish that joke about the man who fell off the cliff? Oh, yep, I nearly forgot. Well, uh, you see, this fella kind of busted himself up when he fell, and the only way his friend could figure to get him up out of the crevice was to hold on to the rope with his teeth. With his teeth? That's right, Billy. So he bites down hard on the rope, and his friend starts pulling him up, inch by inch, foot by foot, until his head starts appearing above the cliff's edge. Wow. So his friend sees his head coming up and tries to be sort of cheerful about it all, and he says, uh, how are you coming along? Did the man with the rope in his teeth answer? Yep. <laughs> he says, okay! <laughs> <laughs> Well, boys and girls, we were all glad that this adventure came to a happy end. And say, did you ever notice how much it sounds like that man is falling off a cliff when he shouts after I say, see you next week for more adventure with Ranger Ranger Bill is produced in the radio studios of the Moody Bible Institute in Chicago.